Hi, my name's Sean Kutzko. I'm a ham radio operator and work at the American Radio Relay League in Newington, Connecticut. We're here at the Mark Twain House and Museum in Hartford, Connecticut on his 181st birthday to do a ham radio special event station. The Mark Twain House and Museum is uh, the historic site where Mark Twain lived with his family for 17 years in the 19th century. So we have his beautiful restored home here, also a beautiful museum center with exhibit space and a film by Ken Burns, the documentary filmmaker. A few years ago, we were named one of the 10 best historic homes in the world by National Geographic magazine, and we are very proud to have that distinction. So Mark Twain built this house in 1874, and he lived here for 17 years with his wife Libby and his three girls. While he lived in Hartford, he worked on and then published The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, The Prince and the Pauper, Life on the Mississippi, and A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, among others. Amateur radio is using radio communications without a cell phone or an internet communications network to communicate over the air. There's a layer of the atmosphere called the ionosphere that acts as a sort of mirror for radio signals and allows radio waves to travel hundreds or thousands of miles away. Mark Twain had a great interest in technology and he had quite a few innovations in this Hartford home. He had telephones. He was one of the first private owners of a telephone in the city of Hartford. He had speaking tubes, enunciators, and a burglar alarm system system that ran off batteries. Uh, so he loved technology or claimed to love it because he complained an awful lot about it too. But he was friends with Tesla. There's a wonderful photograph of Mark Twain in Tesla's lab in the early 1890s uh, where they're playing around with electricity. And if you Google it, it's a very cool shot, kind of spooky shot of him uh, and Tesla fooling around in the lab. We are so happy to have Ham Radio here at the Mark Twain House. Uh, I know the editor of your publication, Becky Schoenfeld, who introduced me to Sean, who is right now on our front lawn, and we couldn't be happier to have you here today. We can take a simple antenna, attach it to a radio in a car, and we can transmit a signal from the Mark Twain House and Museum to Mark Twain fans all around the world using both our voice and also Morse code. From the Mark Twain House and Museum, this is Whiskey One Tango, special event, QRZ. Hey, America Zero, Juliet, Charlie Oscar. Whiskey Alpha Zero, Juliet, Charlie Oscar. Good morning, thanks a lot. You are a five and nine signal here at the Mark Twain House and Museum in Hartford, Connecticut. Your name is Bill, and thank you for being here. I'm a Mark Twain fan, bye-bye. Okay, Bill, nice to talk to you today.